Hi, this is Anthony with a video tutorial on how to create a video project in Explaindio Video Creator version 1.0. If you're not familiar with Explaindio, you can check my video review on it. Essentially, it's a video creation software with which you can produce high quality video by combining animation, sketch, and motion video. And you can do this by using pre made templates, but easily customize them. So, this is the screen that you will see when you first open Explaindio. In this section right up top is where you manage your video projects and in this section just below is where you manage the timeline of a project. Uh, this section to the bottom um, right is your canvas and finally in this section to your bottom left is where you can change various elements of your projects like text, images, video and animation. So to create your video project, um, you basically click on this uh, Create Project uh, button and then give it a name. I'll name it Demo and then click the Create button. Uh, next click the Add button and then you will see these options. Explain to you allows you to create videos with animated slides and sketches. Accordingly, you'll have to click one of these two options. This third option will not apply for the first time. Uh, you can use it once you've created your own sketch video. I want to keep these, uh, this video short, so I won't go too in-depth. However, I will be creating separate tutorials on how to create animated, uh, an animated slide video and an animated sketch video. So let's start off by adding animated slides. So click on this Add Animated Slide button and you'll see this dialog box with three panels. So the left side panel is where you will see all the slide packs and in the middle panel right here is where you'll see the slides in that slide pack. And in this section right here to your right is where you'll see the preview. So for example, right now you're seeing the preview of slide number one. So if I change it to slide number two, you will see that the preview changes. So you can either add a particular slide or the whole slide pack. So you've got these two buttons right here, add pack and add single. So let's just um, add the whole pack. So I'll click this add pack button and as you will see that they will now appear, all the slides right here as you can see, they appear in the timeline section and you can see a live preview right here in the canvas section. In this left side panel is where you can uh, make changes. So for example, there are tabs right up top. It's currently on the uh, text tab. And as you can see, you can change, um, you know, the various uh, uh, text color, the font, the size, etc. Um, for this particular slide. And if you go to the image tab, you can add a background image as well as an image overlay. And similarly, if you go to uh, the video tab, you can add the, um, a background um, video to the slide as well as an overlay. As you can see, there are two areas right there. In the outline tab is where you can change various colors for this specific uh, slide. So for example, if I just uh, pause it right here, you'll see that there are various elements. So this section right here is where you'll be able to change the color and um, the various elements for this particular slide. And once you've completed uh, the changes, you can then use a top panel to preview and save uh, your project. Like I said earlier, I will create a more in-depth video on how to create an animated slide video. I hope that gave you a good idea on how to work with animated slides. Now let me show you how to create a sketch video. So to create a sketch scene, click on this Create New Sketch Scene button. It's a bit different when you create a sketch scene. As you can see, the canvas looks a bit different. And you can open and close the canvas. So let's start by adding a sketch image by clicking this Add SVG Image link. You will see this uh, image gallery, uh, sketch gallery, which is a bit similar to the slide pack gallery. On the left side here, you will find the sketch folders 
and on the right side you will find the scratch the sketch previews so if I click on the second folder right here you will see the preview for that for the sketch images on that uh, folder so let's add one of the sketch images this one right here so as you can see as soon as you click it it brings it on or adds it to the canvas you can then change the size and orientation you know, of the sketch image uh, by using these little tools right here as you can see you've got this little this little um, squares and you can just do this um, and you've got these two little buttons here shift uh, when you um, when you click the shift button it's basically uh, it's a lock and it basically locks the uh, the orientation of the image if I unlock it as you can see it allows me to um, it increases the size as well as the, the width and the height whereas if I lock it it's sort of proportional and this one right here is basically allows me to change the uh, the direction and if I, I can just drag and drop it as well um, you can also add text so for example if you click on this one right here add text as you can see it adds this text here and um, you can just as you can see you can just move them very freely and if I click on it, I can just change this text and just say, you know, hey guys. Okay. Um, you can even change the, the same thing works right here. You can change the size right here, the orientation. Um, so what we can do is just to make it a little, a little more realistic, we can add another SVG image let's just go down to the callouts and add one callout let's just see this one right here and as you can it works on the same base you can just basically increase this, uh, the size and but as you can see this is pointing here you can just flip it horizontally to be pointing and again you can change this direction right, right here as well put it this way so it looks like he's saying, you know, hey guys. All right, so if I close the canvas, as you can see, it'll start sketching now. And as you can see, it's created three slides in the sketch scene, depending on exactly how I've. So um, it sketches only that particular slide because it's on that slide. So if I move it to here, it's going to sketch the call out. And similarly, if I click on, on this slide, it's going to. But if I do a preview right here, it's going to do the full preview and it starts exactly the way the sketches are um, numbered so as you can see right there and you can basically just close it so that's the preview for the full scene and now since it's obviously on this uh, slide it sketches exactly that one now on this side panel here like I mentioned earlier you know you can add a background image um, you can add a background video um, and as well as um, the text you can change it right here uh, you can add a background slide and these two right here are a bit different from the slide gallery uh, you've got action before and action after so basically what it does is action before is um, is before it actually sketches so for example right here as you can see there are a whole bunch of things you can either do nothing or sketch or sketch by hand what it, which is currently doing uh, sketching by hand or you can fade it in f um, fly in or fly in by hand as well so right now since I'm doing a sketch I'm just gonna leave it that way and same thing right here and um, this section before I go to the action after this section right here is basically you can delay the action you can uh, uh, delay the dura duration of the sketch you can make it faster or slower or you can pause the action as well and uh, similarly in the action after uh, basically it allows you to control what happens after the sketch animation uh, to make any uh, changes to the sketch image uh, you would have to close us or, or rather open the canvas by using this button right here and then you know making whatever changes you need to um, once you're done, you know, you can use this uh, panel right up top uh, to preview and save the project. And um, 
the good thing about this is that you can add both a combination of slide and sketch videos uh, to make one cool professional video. You know, like I mentioned earlier, I'll be creating a more in-depth video on how to create an animated sketch video, but this is just to give an idea as to what you can do. So I hope that gives you a good idea of what you can do with Explain to you. You can check my video tutorials on how to create an animated slide video and an animated sketch video. Also, feel free to check my uh, Explain to you video review like I mentioned earlier. And I have a whole bunch of tutorials on my YouTube channel that will help you. Hope you found this useful. And if you've got any questions, uh, you can please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.